Hi all, Ariana Bart coming in to talk to you about grid workers. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me though. I am in my truck and it is hailing. It just started hailing. Let's see. Yeah. What happened to spring? I thought like, you know, we're in April and I'm sure anyone who's watching this who is not in New England really doesn't care. But um, let's see how this video goes. <laughs> I felt guided to talk about grid workers as it's a term that's come up quite a bit lately, at least for me, and it's been around for a while. So a lot of people don't know what it means. And so I thought, let me talk about grid workers. Let me talk about light workers. You've probably heard the term light worker. I think that one's been out longer than grid work. I mean, I'm sure they're, they're both very old, but light worker is someone who anchors light onto the planet. And it doesn't have to be in a particular role. You don't have to be an energy healer or a metaphysical teacher or or anything in that field at all, um, light workers anchor light wherever they go. But it's really cool if you're aware of it because then you can do it consciously. But you know, light workers are architects and mothers and teachers and anyone. Anyone can be a light worker. But it's really cool once you're aware of you know, the fact that you're a light worker because then when you go into an environment, you can consciously affect it because you are affecting it anyway. Um, and that's another reason why I feel light workers. Um, it's really important to do the inner work to get as clear as possible because your presence, your energy field, affects people in a much larger way than those who are not light workers. So those are light workers, grid workers, um, and you can be both. Um, grid workers are those who go to different places on the planet, they feel guided to go, and they actually affect the energetic grid of the planet. It's really quite cool. So the planet has energy lines, they're called ley lines, and it's similar to the human body that has 12 acupuncture meridians. They're like energy highways uh, in the body. Those are acupuncture meridians. But on planet Earth, they're called ley lines, and they can actually cross. So when two energy lines or ley lines cross, they create a vortex. So there are places on the planet where there are many vortexes or vortices, people say. So Sedona, Arizona is one of them. And I had moved there from New York City to Sedona. I was guided to move there. I did not know anyone. I was just guided to move there. And that's when I started to become aware of this, I don't want to say desire, but this guidance to just um, not only visit places, but move to places. And a lot of people will look at my resume or, or learn about me and it's like, wow, you've lived in a lot of places. And for a lot of people, that's kind of unsettling or they like to be in one place their whole life. I know people who grew up and, and now still live in the house that they, you know, that they grew up in as a child. And that's okay. Everybody's different. But don't judge those who, uh, who are traveling around the earth because they're doing more than just traveling. They're doing more than just visiting or living in those places. They're actually affecting those places and the energy fields. So I I was guided this past summer to head out west and work with the energy of the land in a couple different places and I and I had to honor it. You know, you know when you have that push from spirit. So it's more of a, a spiritual guidance as a grid worker than like, oh, I want to go on vacation to Hawaii or California. It's, it's a totally different feeling. So grid workers are people who are guided to go to different places on the earth and to help shift the energy, to work with the energy, to also tune in, tap in, recharge. Um, these places tend to be very beautiful too, but you could also be guided to places that, you know, maybe aren't a high energy field to work with it, to anchor light in and to, to move some energy around. It could be both. Um, but Sedona is one of those places that has a lot of vortexes, energy fields. Uh, Hawaii is another one, California, Bali, uh, Machu Picchu, Tibet. There, there are a lot of places on the planet that are a very high energy field and if you are a light worker or a grid worker or both you may be called to not only go visit or maybe just move there so i say whenever you feel that pull or that guidance honor it it doesn't matter what it looks like to the outside world you're working in 5d the outside world is 3d so honor it whenever you feel a pull to to go somewhere even if it's just to visit it or if it's to move there then honor that too i know a lot of people that that happens to and then as you do the work there you complete the work that that you were to do in those those, those locations and your soul has has grown in the way that grown in the way that it was supposed to you'll be guided to to move somewhere else and it's okay too to be in the same location for 30 years maybe you're supposed to be anchoring light in that location um Always just tune in and listen to what it is you need, your spirit needs, and what you're being guided by the universe and beyond. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. You can message me or email me or Instagram, Facebook, whatever, or comment below, whatever you prefer. But I'm happy to answer these questions because they come up a lot. I hope you're having a really, really warm night, and I look forward to talking to you soon.